finding the mean of a symmetric distribution. Below are the line plots for two data sets. Okay, so I have data set A, data set B. Find the mean of each data set. Okay, so if I was going to write this as a list of numbers, I would write two twice, once for each x, a three, a four, and then two fives. Okay, and I need to find the average of those numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and add them up in the calculator. So 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5. Okay, and then take that answer, 21, and divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6 data points. Okay, so my mean is 3.5. Now we can actually see that that answer makes sense by looking at this graph, okay? Because I have two x's here, two x's there, right? One each here. These x's form a symmetric or kind of evenly distributed pattern. So the mean, the 3.5, is right in the middle to where there's three X's on this side and three X's on that side, and they're kind of evenly distributed or weighted on each side of that mean. Now let's do this one and see how it looks in terms of the graph. So I would have one, two, two threes, three fours, two fives, and one six, okay? So again, I'm going to find it on the calculator, and then we're going to look at what that means in terms of the graph. So put my calculator over here this time. We're going to add up 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 6. That gives me 36. And then I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 data points. So I'm going to divide that by 9, and I get 4. Okay. So the mean here, or the average, is 4. And we can see that in the graph, okay, because 4 is right in the middle and has the most x's, right? 4 is weighted the most here. So the mean, oops, let me put my dots here, okay, or the average there is 4 versus 3.5 over here.